Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us? Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Crimson was not yours to spill. He was mine. You had no right to take him. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? Only the blades can offer salvation. until my skin shreds wet and red. You still don't remember, do you, Bloodkin? <laughs> How you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices, sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. This is the truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. Orin was your subordinate. You led the cultists of Baal and orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Husk, maggot, a Baal spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the Murder Lord's blessing. No, 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 no! He didn't, he didn't! Filthy, pig-mouthed little liar! Grandfather loved me. He worshipped me. These petty smearings will not save you. should have trained harder, master. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
lost. You are the chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you. <laughs> of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. Domination. Slaughter. Mountains of corpses. You standing atop them. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedience subject to his lash. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless, and do want to wander the fugue plane for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. 
I too still hold some power. And I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods, and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I endure. The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during thy travels. That part Baal could not extinguish. And so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. You did it. You're free. I'm so God's damn proud of you. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind. Of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine urge. I know all, but to state truths is to interfere, for the minds of mortals are easily swayed. My place, for the most part, is to observe. This intervention, the reclamation of thy soul, is beyond mine ordinary remit. But thou art extraordinary, and so are these times. Today thou art born anew. You get to start over. To be the person you want to be. Not what someone else made you to be. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. Thy path is clear. You must save Baldur's Gate. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. I am alive. Uh, thanks to our skeletal traveling companion, no doubt. Every breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return to camp. The air is cleaner there. It was no easy thing, overcoming those urges that gripped you. I'm not sure I would have managed in your shoes. Well done. Good. I knew you had what it took to quieten your demons. I'd hate to have lost the real you. This merits a celebration. You did what you had to do to get yourself right. To choose the life you wanted to live. Very fucking proud of you, darling. Seriously. Go on. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. Thank you. Well done again on besting Baal and all that. It was... very twee. Especially the part where that poor excuse for a skeleton waved his magic wand and... made it all better. Dying and being reborn is never pleasant. To challenge Lady Orin was bold. To slay her even bolder. It is a shame you bulked in the face of godhood. Did you not feel his presence? You cannot shirk the weight of your lineage, Valspawn. Not really. It's far too heavy. The blood on his profane hands. It could have been yours too. You could have been chosen. Spawn of Baal, you would have brought this city to its knees. You have squandered your unholy right. You rejected your own blood, your unholy provenance. You are no child of Baal. Orin taught us some very specific cruelties. Were you not Baal's spawn, I would inflict them upon you, traitor. His bubbling hate still fills my nostrils. Not even your treason could dampen this joy, betrayer.
stone. I need to see it for myself. There it is. So innocent. But such potential. You have done very well indeed. The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The throng quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. With the stones in hand, and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. If memory serves, there are smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain, and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. filled with zealous awe, but also pure hatred. From bonds, free! No more slay. Liberate us, saviors. Lord, Lord Baal offered you everything, and yet... We were to bleed, bleed choke main kill, for you, her, him. hasn't got skin of orange all melted to nothing oh, unflayed untreated what a waste oh. her screams so loud should have cut them off squeezed harder still she is silent now
brutal death. Orin deserved nothing less. May we all be so lucky. She is gone, and, and we may feast. Shame you will not be joining us. I've just carved up a most succulent halfling. She is crushed. Destroyed. Obliterated. But her skull did not sit in my palm. Not by my hand. No. No. So messy. All you needed was a drop of Adabile. That would have done for Orin. How could you not accept our Lord's most profane succor? How? How? Another ball spawn buried by our hand. Ball should learn better than to send his offspring against us. They might as well be babes, dropped bare bottom into their Rashomon winter. Congratulations are in order. I fancied myself the sage advisor. Sworn to guide you through what it means to be a child of Baal. And while I mulled on that solemn responsibility, you went and took care of it on your own. Well done. Truly. The path of a Baal spawn is not an easy one. Nor does it ever truly end. But you found your footing where so many before you have fallen. Wherever you lead from now, we will follow. I believe you have an appointment with a nether brain. Lead them. Nature servant awaits. Ask it. Oak Father preserve you. Just my pride. I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk, come to think of it. I wonder how that was managed. But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But, honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. And a hard-won freedom at that. Well done. Your new lease of life suits you rather well. What do you and your newborn vitality require of me? Nothing like ridding oneself of a god's unwanted influence to lighten the load on your shoulders. <laughs> I 
Wasn't sure if we'd lose you to that darkness entirely. Glad to know you found your way back to us. You have conquered your urge. You have taken back your own soul. I'm so proud of you. If I had a bottle of Dragon Dew, I'd open it in your honor. You have vanquished the Slayer, as I knew you would. You are strong. You are mighty. You are you. I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse, the politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was, but you lifted the fog. Thank you. You, I discovered you. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Truly? I thought you felt the same as I did. You sought my needs here in camp with the care of a lover, not a host. But I respect your choice. If that's how you truly feel. Your friendship remains precious to me. I understand. And I still cherish our relationship. Still, I could not have forgiven myself had I not taken the plunge. Better to have tried and failed. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Oh, perfection. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites and his teeth are missing, but these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before, where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave! It's called magic, darling. Do keep up. Not this instant. So should you wish for anything from my staff, be quick. Oh, and if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor dribbles. You are so very pretty, after all. Thank you for finding dribbles, darling. Be sure you don't forget me, hmm? regards you lifelessly. Orin, my daughter, I tried to kill her, but she killed me first. Chosen. Saravok told me she. 
see must be my offering. I was close, my hand around her throat. I failed. Now she worshipped him, loved him. So did I. questions.